Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to isolate colors in a video clip using Movie Edit Pro 2022. Okay, so on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I've got this one video clip that I downloaded from the Pexels website. So I'll put a link to that in the YouTube description. Let's go ahead and open up Movie Edit Pro. Let's go to File, New. And we're going to create a new project, 25 frames a second, full HD at 1920 by 1080. Let's click Create Project. And we're going to drag this video clip into here. And then we need to click Adjust here to uh, change the frame rate so it matches uh, the content, right? So here we've got these flames and I want I want to change the color of the flames and also the, the color on this guy's jacket because it's come the flames are kind of giving uh, the color to the jacket right the, the reflection or the, um, the the color here so I want to get to where the flames are quite high so roughly around here before we do anything else let's in fact drag a second video clip onto the timeline because we want to compare the before and after so let's click on the bottom clip this will be the topmost layer the bottom one and let's go over to the effects panel and inside effects I'm going to go to color correction here and inside that I'm going to click the add button and I want to select the yellow elements right so I'm going to try and select all of the yellow content as much as possible um, here so you can see there's a good selection now and also I want to select the sort of colors off the guy's jacket so now you can see there's a really good selection so anything that's white we're going to be able to manipulate the color I'm going to select foreground here because this is what we select in the foreground right this is this selection is the foreground so we select foreground here and then we can change the colors now of the flames and and also the um the color on this guy that the, the heat coming off of these flames is changing the color here as well right so we can change that to something a bit different right let's make it a bit more creative so let's go sort of like a we can go with like orange or like a purple sort of color seems to look pretty cool something like this right so now when we look at the video content you can see the purple flames but everything else has stayed the same the background the blue in the background anything else that surrounds it um, is going to stay the same so this is like the the selection of the color so we click play and now we can see that and we can turn off that video clip by clicking on the m here and we'll see the original one in the background so this is the original yellow and now we can switch it back to the purple color so i think that looks pretty cool right the purple you can just play around with these settings and just try and find the right setting basically the angle is going to be uh, the color this color um, here it's almost like clicking on this uh, uh, this little circle here and rotating around you can use this option here to be a bit more accurate with your rotation that's all it is really so you can select like a purple and then the level will just move that handle in and out so you can have a little bit of purple or a lot it's up to you and then the saturation is going to be the difference you know how much level of um color we're going to add to the content right so one thing we did we probably didn't select every single yellow element in here so if we bring down the saturation a little bit we can go to color here and we can bump up the saturation here just a little bit and we can start to get some of the yellow elements that we missed in our selection so now when we click play we'll have some yellow elements plus the purple mixed in together and that's kind of a nice effect as well right to have both um both sort of colors combined together and you can click the M here to turn off that video track and you can turn it on and off or you can just get rid of the saturation here and it will all just be purple like this so I kind of like this sort of option here I think that looks pretty cool I don't know what you think but now you can go and use that same technique let's say if someone was wearing a red jacket and you wanted to change that red jacket to or a red t-shirt you want to change the color on the t-shirt this is how you can go around isolating that particular color and change that color by using this color correction tool here it's quite um, a useful tool just to, to make something creative right I quite like using this tool it's quite a creative tool let's go to file and let's go to save project as and let's just save our work so we're going to look for uh, this folder isolate colors and let's just call it isolate colors here so we can close down movie edit pro now and this is the original make file so you can export this video content 
and that's probably the end of this tutorial there's not much really else to, ex to explain about color isolation in movie edit pro 2022 so i hope you find this tutorial useful it's quite a nice creative technique to use inside your video content so if you if you're doing a lot of filming you want to do something a bit more creative this is a, a nice option for you to to be a bit more experimental in your video content okay don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel where you can access over 750 free video tutorials on a wide range of subjects that's the end of this tutorial i hope you find it useful and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial